ancient surveying started in Egypt. In this video, you will learn how to tabulate a field surveying data. This is a height of collimation table that will enable us to record our field data. The first step, as soon as you get to site, is place a staff over a benchmark. And this benchmark, we'll call it point one. This point one is where the reduced level is known. Reduced level is a point or a known point above the sea level. This point had been previously marked out by surveyors all over the country. The record of that property can be obtained from the local council. The next step is set up the instrument in a convenient and safe location where the benchmark point is visible. Where you position your instrument Call it station A. Next step is from your instrument. Take a sight on the leveling staff. This first reading is called back sight. Hence, back sight is the first point you took after positioning your instrument. Let's assume that the back sight recorded is 1.850 to three decimal places. Hence, I will go to my table. This is station A. And the first reading is 1.850. Next, the instrument at point A will remain stationary while the person with the leveling staff we move point. This new position is point two. Next, take the reading on the staff. Now, because the instrument at station A did not move, but the leveling staff moved, this reading will be called intersight. Let's assume the record taken is two. 0.435 on the table i will record 2.435 on the enter site next the instrument at position a will not move and the staff will move again to another point this new point Let's call it point three. Next, you take the reading again on the staff. If the instrument will not move and more readings will be taken, this is still an intersight. Let's assume the record here to be 2.564. On the table, I will record two. 0.564. Next, the staff is about to move to another point while station A still remains constant. This new point is point 0.4. Next, you will take the reading again on the staff. This time around, the instrument on station A is about to move to a new point. And because of this, the last reading will be called a foresight because the station will move. Or probably this is the last reading before they leave the site. Let's assume that this reading is 2.658. Hence, on the foresight, I will record 
2.658. Next, this is a new station called station B. Hence, I will write station B here. Here becomes 0.5. Next, you take the reading on the staff. And because this is the first reading after you moved to a new station, this becomes a new backside. Assuming the recording is 2.361. Here I will record 2.361. Next, the station B will still be constant while the staff is about to move to a new point. This is now point 0.6. B has not moved. Next, take the reading on the staff. And this becomes your intersight. Intersight because you probably would want to take another reading after this point. However, if this is going to be your last reading, this will be your foresight. Let's assume here is 2.654. Hence, on my table, I'm going to have 2.654. Next, point B is still constant. And the staff is about to move to another point. Hence, this becomes point 0.7 and here still remain station B. Next, you take the reading on the leveling staff. Let's assume the reading is 3.012 and probably after this reading, you are about to go back to the office or you want to leave the site. Hence, if this is going to be your last reading on this station B, hence, this will be called a foresight. Hence, on the table, this will be 3.012. Also, probably before you turn up to this site, you have obtained the elevation of the benchmark from the local council. Let's assume on this land is 800. When the recording is completed, you can now go back to the office and complete the calculations using either height of collimation or rise and fall method. How to calculate height of collimation or using rise and fall method is quite simple. In the next video, you will learn how to calculate this recording and to do checks whether if it is okay using height of collimation method. Afterwards, rise and fall method. I will see you in the next video.